Hello everyone, I'm Garbo. Today, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about rank. So let's go ahead and let's hop into it. So, two to three weeks in, you know, playing of rank, trying to get my placement matches and try to gain the, you know, the fun experience of rank and to try to enjoy it. But I found that ranked has been really, really, really troublesome. I don't know. I haven't played any ranked strikeout matches, so I don't know the spectrum of the strikeout games. I don't know how they feel. I don't know if it's a, you know, if it's any different than how it feels compared to the ranked demolition games. However, I've played a fair amount of ranked demolition games, and I tell you right now, like I feel like that the ranking system is not up to par. And what I mean by that. Is that, for example, with me and my friends, we all did our placement matches. We all ran together, you know, did our whole team stack and everything like that. And we end up in silver, right? Okay, and that's fine. You know, nothing wrong with that because, you know, you're, you're not supposed to just be blown away. All right. So with that being said, <clears throat> I'm in silver. You know, some people get gold. Some people here and there. Like, you know, but I've never heard anyone that I know of that I'm friends with. Even though I've went, I, you know, I've got some pretty crazy people that are really good at this game. And they're all saying the same thing. They're all in silver. They're all in gold. And so, like, <clears throat> what happened, this is what's happened in rank. Everyone so far is in silver and rank right now, or silver and gold right now. You know, except for the exception of people that never stopped playing ranked since ranks came out. You know, some people don't play ranked 24 7, especially not its main game mode. Like, they don't consider that their main game mode. Like, they're not sitting there and they're like, you know what? Ranked Demolition or ranked Strikeout is my 24 7 game mode. You know, like, we play casually a lot of the time, most of the time. More times than not, we're playing casually. So, <clears throat> again, uh, <laughs> it, it just it's pretty rough let me let me get with that like and i know i'm no like professional or anything like that and you know and it, that probably incentivizes no. me to like you know play more to like figure out where the points are and everything like that but most of the time now right now if you play in a team four stack you kind of pay for it and i hate to say that like you're running with a team and you're playing with your friends and you kind of pay for that i don't know if that's just like hey because you're running on a team stack, we're gonna we're gonna make this harder for you. Because I feel like in solos it's different. Like I had easier time playing my solo demolition games than I did when I was playing with my teammates. And fair to say, my teammates and I were, were getting bodied a lot of games, like a lot of games. And we were there were games that we were playing evenly. Like we play good, and then all of a sudden it just get real crazy, you know. And maybe that's just part of the game, right? But. All in all, I just feel like that you kind of get punished for team stacking because what happens is instead of playing, I feel like in silver, bronze, or gold players, like I feel like I should at least be playing gold five, right? Because I'm in silver three or silver two right now. I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> but okay, that should be the top that I should be playing against. I shouldn't be playing against, you know, platinum players, diamond players, rogue players. It doesn't matter how good I'm performing in silver. It doesn't matter how well I am performing in any of the other ones. If I'm in silver two, should I not be playing against people within that level? It shouldn't be like, well, because you're, you know, your KD or your way you kill play or the way you play, you know, like gets you this. And then your friend over here plays this way. And so your friend over here plays this way. So we're going to try to collaborate that. And being that all four of y'all play like this, we're going to make it really challenging. So I don't know if it just sets you up that way on purpose or maybe, you know, matchmaking is just weird when it comes down to that overall. Maybe it's not just the ranking systems matchmaking. Maybe it's just matchmaking period that does that. But it's not fair because it shouldn't do that. Yes, you know, it's going to be a more challenging for you if you're running solos and you're going up against people on that same level. But, like, if you're playing on the same matchmaking level the entire time, I feel like that helps build your, you know, help you build on your, like, how you play on everything like that. If you're constantly playing rogues, how are you supposed to learn? Because, like, the learning process there is just you're getting pushed, you're getting flash mags, and, like, yeah, you know, you're like, well, I'm going to run back here. But then, like, you don't know how to push in. You don't know when to, like, when to pull out. Like, you're not learning the fundamentals of the rank because at most of the time you're going against rank players. They're not giving you time to process or they're, like, they're intimidating you or they're breaking you down. Like, you're discouraging you. Like, there's just a couple of things that can happen that, like, you're not able to learn from it. And, like, 
this game can be you can learn plenty from this game but like if you're going up against these players that are just not giving you time to learn anything or you think or makes you feel like that every little incremental thing that you do in the game is not enough then where is the process for you to become a better player? Where is it for you to start learning and start ranking up through the system? It's not, because you're going to end up facing a bunch of rogue players, and they're going to keep doing the same thing to you. You're going to get bodied. You're going to get slammed. Like It, just, it doesn't make a fun gaming experience for anyone like that. And I get it. There's some rogue players right now. And I also get it that like maybe there's not a big player base, for example, for ranked system to be like a perfectly ranked system where there's people that's going to make it like, oh, well, we can't like, you know, and all in all, maybe they can't do that. Maybe the matchmaking is so small in ranked systems that the gaming itself is like, well, we only have 40 people playing ranked right now. And one of them just happens to be a rogue player. And so guess what? you get placed with a rogue player. And no, I'm not saying only 40 people play at a time. That was just an example. But like, you see what I'm saying? Like, if there's not enough players playing ranked to begin with, the matchmaking is not going to work out. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to make it where we're going to end up going up against rogue players. We're going to go up against platinum players. We're going to go up against players that are a higher level than us because we don't have enough players playing the game. Or maybe more players are playing in ranked strikeout than in ranked demolition. Again, I don't know that. I don't play enough ranked strikeout to, like, to know how fast the queue times are. I know when I play demolition, though, queue times go five minutes up. And that's, you know, again, I don't know if that's just... That's just ranked demolition. I need to play some ranked strikeouts, but you know, ranked strikeouts pacing is way different than demolitions. So my mindset has to be ready for that. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. What do y'all think about the whole ranked system? I think the ranked system needs to be worked on a little bit. I mean, also it doesn't help that maybe we need more players playing ranked. And you know, there's not saying that there's not, but I don't know the statistics. I don't have the, you know, the counts of what, what who's playing what. But I do know if there's not enough people playing in those queues that it's going to set us up against these uneven or unbalanced matchmakes, and then that's going to cause us to rage, and we're like, why are we playing against these people, blah, 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 and we're going to be mad about it, when all in reality, it's just, you know, small things that can be done, like boosting right here, right here. player He's count, you know, more people yeah, just help. being involved into the ranked no, system and stuff no, like that. No. But y'all let me know in the comment yeah. section down below. If y'all haven't liked or subscribed to the channel, I appreciate if y'all do one of those things. I'm trying to upload content every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and the like, subscribe, motivate me to make more content. I'm also doing streams on Monday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Time. And then on Tuesdays, I've been doing 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Central Time. So if y'all enjoy streams, y'all enjoy a lot of my videos, you enjoy like how I act and how goofy I am or my rage moments, y'all come down, y'all watch the streams, y'all get a live action view of how I react and respond oh in gameplay. God. But until then, guys, I'm going to cut to the video and I hope to catch y'all in the next one. Peace out and y'all all have a fantastic day, everyone. Right here. God damn it. Right here. Nice Get her dirt. Yes! <laughs>